Okay guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I got ready for my grade 8 graduation. I would also like to point out that before I filmed this video, I took a shower the night before. I got my nails done and my toes done as well as my eyebrows, so don't worry about that. And don't worry about my phone going off. Anyways, let's get started. Um, so I'm just brushing out my hair and then sectioning it off and then also using my Tresemme heat protectant spray to... Um, protect my hair from heat obviously and then I'm taking my Conair curling wand um, which is an extra large and I'm just wrapping my hair around the barrel and for smaller sections I just curled it for five seconds and for bigger sections I just curled it for 10 seconds and then that just got me really really nice results and I'd also like to let you guys know that I had two parts to the day. So in the morning, which is the one I'm getting ready for currently, or in the video, um, I am getting ready for the party, the luncheon, and the dance. And then later on at night, I got ready for the ceremony. So this get ready with me portion um, is only for the party part. And that's the part I filmed and I got my I just did my hair and makeup a little more simple than I did at night but trust me at night it wasn't any more fancy I just got I just curled my hair a bit more and added some more eyeshadow and eyeliner um, but that was pretty much it so as you can see I'm just taking my hair in sections and curling them, curling them up real nice and uh, yeah Then for the next part, I just took down the top section of my hair and began to curl that part too. For the top section, I just decided to curl it a bit more loose so it was a bit wavier instead of tight curls, which I actually did at the night portion. But I um, just curled my bangs a bit and then curled the other second sections of my hair. And then once I was done with that, I um, used some hairspray and then I just tied it up in a little bun and began on my makeup. So I took some serum and applied that all over my skin as well as grabbing my Smashbox primer and blending that all over my face just to keep my makeup on all night and this really did help and worked really well. And then I grabbed my L'Oreal foundation and dotted that all over my face as well as on this scar that I had and then used my beauty blender to blend that out. This this foundation is the best I've ever used. It's so light and creamy and very nicely blended <laughs> then I just applied a little bit more on the scar just to get rid of it and hide it a bit more but I mean it didn't really help so yeah I just continued to blend it blend my makeup until it looked really natural and smooth and then I moved on and grabbed my powder with a kabuki brush and I just used some Laura, Laura Mercier translucent powder just to keep my skin matte and keep my foundation in place because if I sweat or have oily skin um, it won't like melt off or move around or anything or if like you know I rub my face and it won't come off on my hand then I just grabbed a brush and some um, light pink blush and just applied that to my cheeks I wanted to go for a very 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 natural look for the day I didn't want to look too fancy for the daytime and then I just plucked a bit around my eyebrows because the lady just didn't do as good of a job as I thought she was going to so I just um, plucked a few hairs that were around and then after doing that I filled them in with just a light brown color just so they would look more defined and then combed them out with a disposable mascara wand and then I started on my eyes so I took my um, my Too Faced Shadow Insurance eyeshadow primer and I applied that all over my eyelids and then began with the eyeshadow. So I took my Too Faced Bonjour Summer Palette and started in my crease and just blended that in and then took a light shimmery color or no a light matte color and applied that to my brow bone as well as my inner corner to make them pop a little bit more and have a natural highlight. 
And then I decided to pick up that same color and apply that to my um, inner eyelid. And then I grabbed the this like shimmery matte color and then I just applied that to the center of my eyelid. And this made a really pretty like shimmery look and still natural. So this is my full look. Dress from Le Chateau. Clutch from Le Chateau. No, shoes from Le Chateau and clutch from Bentley. Hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta!